Hello, this is Jim Michaels with the Hickler Heights Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I'd like to share with you just a short message from the Bible today. Did you know that God is extremely mindful of you and also of the needs that you have? You know, as we go back to the Old Testament, I'm impressed with something that the psalmist David said. I want you to read with me or listen to me read Psalms 8 verses 3 and 4. He said, when I consider your heavens and the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you're mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him? Now, another word that we might use for the word visit here is care. So what is man that you're mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him? God does care for us. He cares for both our physical needs and also for our spiritual needs. But what kind of mental image do you get when you think of this verse? Well, I think of it as a shepherd lying out in a field, looking up at the heavens on a clear night, and beholding all the things, all the stars, maybe the moon is out that night, everything that God has created. And here's the psalmist looking up and beholding everything that he can see with his natural eye. And yet once he considers all those things that God has created and made, he thinks of one other thing that God made, and that was himself. And that's the reason that he poses this question. In all the vastness of everything that he could see with his eye, and thinking about all the humanity uh, upon the face of the earth, here's just one little shepherd boy, one little shepherd boy lying out in a field at night, looking up at the stars, and he says, what am I? Who am I that you would care about me and make any provisions for me? Well, the answer to that is that he did care and he did provide both physically and spiritually as well. When we think of the physical blessings of life, think of everything that God has bestowed upon us, our food, our clothing and shelter, the very air that we breathe and the water that we drink is a gift from God. But the greatest thing that God has provided for us is the forgiveness of sins through the blood of Jesus, his son. God is not willing that any should perish, Peter says, but wants all men to come to repentance in 2 Peter 3 and verses 9. He wants you to believe that he is and that he exists and that Jesus Christ is his son. And Jesus died on the cross so that we could be forgiven of our sins. If we will believe, repent, confess, and be baptized, he promises to save us and add us to the body of saved people. You know, who are we? Well, we're just one individual that God cares for and provides for physically, but above all spiritually. Thank you for listening and you have a great day.